So now I'm done with my work and we're going to get into the full demo walkthrough of everything that the scope to fit all in one home gym can do. But I want to start with a little bit of context here. You're looking at the, the unit that I have at home. As you can see, it's in, it's in the middle of my uh, TV area and the dining area. This is actually a personal, personal grade model. And it's pers the personal grade model is made mostly with 12 gauge steel, which is actually thinner than 11 gauge steel. 11 gauge steel is what the pro model is, is made of. That's what we're launching with on Kickstarter. And that's what we're launching with at first when we go into evergreen mode after the Kickstarter launch is over. And it's because it was easier to launch with one version, the one that will come with a lifetime warranty, instead of trying to launch with two different versions, which made the challenge of manufacturing costs a bit, uh, a bit of a challenge for me. So to streamline the launch, we're going with the pro version, which is the higher grade steel. Also, our top bracket and the lower base uh, brackets that connect the top and the bottom are also made with this, the personal model is quarter inch steel. The pro model, which we're launching with on Kickstarter and then the first phases of Evergreen are gonna be three eighths of an inch instead of quarter inch. It's just a little more, but that extra is what allows this to hold up to commercial grade use all day by many people and carry a lifetime warranty on all steel components. So this will be something that you'll be able to hand down, hand down to your grandkids in the will, because that lifetime warranty will hold up. I already know because I've been testing these out for years. So this is a personal model. Yours is going to look almost the same, except it's going to be made with thicker grades of steel, and it will be the professional model. The color scheme on the launch version is and you'll probably see uh, some renditions of this on the page when it goes live. We're going with all textured black, really, really sharp looking, all textured black. And you're, we're going to have the aqua jet turquoise on the center post and on the top C bracket. So those two pieces will be the aqua jet turquoise. Everything else is going to be textured black. And then we will have the logos and uh, the decals, which will also be a combination of black and the AquaJet turquoise. So those are some spec, uh, spec pieces of info for you. Now I'm going to get into the demo uh, part of the video. Again, this is going to take some time because I'm going to walk you through enough of what could be demonstrated on here to give you an idea of the full scope of the capabilities, not just for you, but for everybody in your family, okay? Context. So here we have, what I'm using in the demo here is a tablet. And so your personal training sessions, you'll be able to stream those to a tablet, to a smartphone, to a laptop, desktop, whatever you have near your unit when you're training at home, is what you'll be able to stream your personal training sessions straight to. If you have a web-enabled TV, you'll be able to stream that. Uh, anything you can stream to your tablet that you can stream to a web-enabled TV, you'll be able to do that too. So if you have that kind of setup, you'll be able to do that as well. Eventually, we will have uh, TV apps that will work on Roku, uh, and any other, any other of the, uh, the TV style. I'm not a big TV guy, so I, I don't know much about what streams to TVs, but I know that we will have eventually streaming to the TV services so that you can watch your personal training sessions on a larger screen if you want to. So that's context. You'll be able to stream your personal training sessions right near the unit. You can follow along as if we are training you from the studio one-on-one. -on -one. And this will be a full library of a bunch of sessions for everybody in the family that we'll launch with. And then every month, 
As part of your membership, we're going to be adding not only new personal training sessions for everybody in the family for all different purposes, but we're also going to have nutrition videos, cooking videos, mindset videos. We're going to have travel trainer sessions, hotel room training sessions, playground training sessions, beach training sessions, so that when you're on the road, all you need is your smartphone or tablet or any device you want to use on the road, you can access your private video training center and you could still follow the methods while you're on the road and whoever's at home can still access the family account and still be training at the same time you are on the road while accessing the same account. Very cool. All right, so mechanics, here we go. <clears throat> right now I essentially have this in storage mode. So you can see I've got my asymmetrical variance handles. You might be able to see that I have them attached at slightly different heights and that is by design. I've got my core and lower body platform up around chest high because I was using it as my workstation. I've got my old school bar at the bottom because that was my foot rest as I was doing my work. I've got the uh, hybrid bench mat in the back here in storage. And now I'm going to start taking this apart and going through what all of these are used for. So I'm going to start by taking off the platform. It slides off very easily right out of the lock position. We set that off to the side. We will take off the hybrid mat. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you all these pieces one by one so that you have a full idea of everything that can be done on here. And we also have some more attachments in the works for probably to the end of 2018, early 2019. But we don't need those yet because we've got plenty here to work with. <clears throat> so let's start with what we already have here. We've got the asymmetrical variance handles up top. And so I'm going to show you a few moves with those while they're up top. So we have an offset of three inches. One is high, one is low, one is high, one is low. Again, we could turn around and go this way. The essence of this machine and the method came from the playgrounds where I used to train over 10 years ago when I left behind the heavy weights and all the stack machines of the old school health clubs. I started training on the playgrounds. The unique thing about the playgrounds, one of the unique things was that there were all these different gripping points and the natural asymmetries of these gripping points was allowing me to do all different kinds of body weight exercises. And because of all the different levels these handles were at, I was able to do things at various levels. And I was also able to train clients, who, some of who were beginners, some were young kids training for athletics, some were just training to get into shape. All different kinds of people, all different levels from beginner to advanced. These different gripping points allowed for shorter training times with more stimulation of the body because of the naturalness of these movements. So one is high, one is low. I could put this hand here, I could put this hand back here, and we've got an asymmetrical, more natural style movement of pull up and chin up. As always, we move slowly with the pause. We could turn around, we could get a different asymmetry going the opposite way now without even having to move the bars. So we get one hand here, one hand here. Pause and down. Now, of course, that's advanced. You might be thinking, well, what about the beginners in my family? Or what if you're a beginner? Well, it's easy. We just unlock them, we take them down. And now we go to the beginner move. We're working the mostly the back muscles. I'm still using the asymmetrical principle here. This is low, this is high. So now my feet are on the ground and I'm only lifting part of my body weight, maybe 30% of my body weight instead of 100%. So we go here, we slowly pull up, slowly come down. 
we slowly come up. Pause, we slowly come down. Now that's pure beginner. We have so many ladies doing this at the Sculpt to Fit studio in St. John's. And they're teaching their husbands how to do these moves. They're teaching them at the playgrounds. But soon enough, they're gonna have one of these at home for the hubbies and the rest of the family. So if we wanna go a little intermediate, then we can go here, one leg up. Now we've got more body weight as opposed to just here. So we've got one leg up, slow, steady movement, slow and controlled. Why am I moving slow and steady and controlled? Because that's part of the method. We're doing the opposite of what almost everybody else out there is doing. Everybody else is doing high impact, high intensity, fast, as much as you can do, as much as possible. We're going the opposite way. And I don't look the way I do because I do crazy stuff. What you're seeing me show you is how I train. It's how I stay in shape. It's how I stay fit. It's how all the ladies at the sculpt to fit studio are getting in shape and staying in shape. And it's how all the other clients get in shape, stay in shape, long distance as well. And it's what you're going to be able to do as well, following the same methodology. Slow and steady wins the race, it gets results. All right, moving on now. So you just saw me work primarily the back muscles. And I'm, I'm still with the AV handles here because there are so many moves that can be done with this. Lots of beginners cannot do regular push-ups. The, the push-up done properly and slowly is an incredible exercise when you do it right. But beginners have a hard time with doing a full push-up, let alone a proper push-up. So one of the beautiful things about these AV handles that can go on at any height is that we can modify the push-up movement to be partial body weight just like this. We have it elevated, our body is now on an incline so that our body weight is not all on the ground, on the arms and hands. We have an elevation here so that we're only doing partial body weight for the push-up style move. So we're still working all the same muscle groups but only with a smaller percentage of our body weight. When we introduce this to beginners, it changes the game because now they can work all the muscle groups that we want to work in a push-up style move but adjusted for beginners. Push-ups are not just for advanced people. They are for beginners and intermediates but we have to have the proper tool in order to be able to do that, right? So this is what we have. Just one of the other features that allows the benefits of doing the push-up style training at any given height for any style of user. But the added benefit is that we also get to introduce the asymmetrical heights of the handles, giving us shorter training times, faster stimulation. All right, a couple more moves. Again, we go advanced. We've got full body weight dips, slow and steady asymmetrical, then we turn around, this one low, this one high, same thing. Now, what would beginners do? And again, all these are going to be on the personal training videos in your, in your personal training portal. So for demonstration purposes, I've got these at the same height, but here's, here's what beginners do. Feet on the ground, your body gets to stay between the hands. Instead of doing the dysfunctional ones where you see a lot of people doing them off the side of a bench and the elbows are back and it's putting a huge strain and stress on the shoulder joints, which is not natural. We're not meant to do this. But here, our hips and our body and our torso get to stay between the hands because we have this open space here. And this is all by design. So beginners can go here, feet close. Intermediates can go out here, one leg up, working a little harder and feeling that all. That's a short demo for the AV handles. So we're gonna take these off. We're gonna set them aside. And 
I'm going to demo a little bit of the old school bar. So the old school bar can go on at any height. You saw when I started, it was my footrest for my productivity station. Here we have it just above head, and even though it's a straight bar, by design, it's meant for asymmetrical variance training. So we can have one hand over here on this bar, one hand on the crossbar, and we pull. Obviously, this is for advanced people, maybe some of the dads in the family, possibly some of the moms who are advanced, and maybe even some of the kids who, who are athletic and at that stage, they can do these. We can also turn around here, go the opposite way. And down. We can attach it down low. And we have another variation of straight bar push-ups we can do. The asymmetry can come into play with the shifts of my body, which I will show you. So from here, we can come down on the left, slowly shift over to the right, push up. We can come down toward the right, slowly shift over to the left, and up. We can go down on the left, up on the left. Down on the right, up on the right. Down to the middle if we want to, and up. Again, just some more versatility with that one straight bar that we can put at any height. So we'll take that off. We're going to bring it back later for something else. Next up is our step platform, core and step. So easily slides on, locks into place, and from here we have several lower body moves. This is all by design. The frame becomes our natural balance for gripping onto, or just putting our palm against. Light toe touch, back up. So that's your side slow step that we can go straight on. If we want to, we can go no hands. We can go with a reach, not touching anything. Hands are in the air. So we've got your lower body step moves, and this is just a tiny fraction, tiny fraction. What we'll do is, I'll throw in a combo of other lower body moves, lower body core combo. So we've got our hybrid mat. We'll drop our platform a little bit. And I'm gonna show you some lower body core combo moves here so we can all right back back to it from here we've got a slow steady push for the glutes the thighs the core the low back and down slowly we want to make this more advanced we can raise the platform step Take it up a little bit higher. Notice the pause at the top. Okay, from here, you can go face down. Slow extension, we pause. Knee comes down slowly toward the hybrid mat. Up slowly, we pause, and down slowly. All right, so that's the beauty of the hybrid bench mat, is that we have so many uses for this when it's on its own or when we have it attached to the main frame, which I'm going to show you shortly. All right, so what else can we do with our lower body platform? 
calves and feet. We must still train the calves and feet because our calves and our feet are the closest to the ground. This is how we maintain balance. We maintain performance. We prevent cramps of the lower legs. Maintain mobility. So simple, we can do slow calf raises off the edge for a variation, slow and steady. Or we could go straight on. I like to vary these. So from here, now, of course, beginners would go two at a time, slow and steady, pushing high, advanced, we go one at a time. Another variation on these, of course, beginners would use a step at a lower height if they're doing lower body training some of the variations we have. We can always add a band from the bottom. We can always add a medicine ball in hand if we want to get more and more advanced. We can vary the step out to vary the emphasis on the different muscle groups. So we can step back and reach forward. We can step out to the side and lean over to the other side with the hand for balance. So this is, again, this is a small fraction of demo for you. Now I'm working, just showing you all this. Even though I'm just scratching the surface, I'm starting to work. So we're gonna take our platform off. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna get our hybrid bench mat into the mix here. So we've got our crafty hybrid bench mat holders. We're gonna set them at a low setting because we're gonna put this down low. I'm gonna show you some simple core and ab work. Again, if I was to show you everything, this video would take a few hours at least, at least. But I'm trying to give you a good idea of the full range of capabilities in a realistic short amount of time. So that you have a good idea of what this is capable of. So, one example of an ab core move is the cross leg slow curl. We pull, we hold, and we release slowly. The beauty of this is, this is all by design. We have a, a 10 degree bend in the hybrid bench mat. So when I say hybrid bench mat, I designed this over 10 years ago because in my head, in my mind, I saw a cross between the top of a bench and a regular flimsy mat on the ground. I wanted both in one. I wanted a rigid mat that could be moved, that could be gripped, that could be used for stretching, which I'm going to show you also, but could also be used as a bench on the sculpt to fit unit, just like you see here. So this 10 degree bend is by design and it has to do with comfort for the neck and also certain stretching and flexibility movements allow the body to be positioned for better comfort, which I'll show you shortly. So from here, we again, there are so many ab and core moves. I just showed you one to give you an idea we then go into all of the different leg, butt, hip, and thigh moves, which used to have to be done on a mat flat on the ground, which limited mobility and range of motion. By going elevated here, not only do we have the ultimate comfort, but now we have even more range of motion because our body is elevated and we're able to do way more in the same amount of time, get even more muscle stimulation, more variation, and more results in the same, if not less amount of time than it used to take us. And the comfort is unmatchable because the hybrid bench mat is made to give the body comfort when we're going through these moves. And we have gripping points. When you're on the ground, you have nowhere to grip. 
it's kind of odd. Until you get on here, you realize, wow, this really does help. I have more stability, more control, and I'm able to get more out of the movements that I'm doing. <sighs> Woo! Already feeling that. Obviously, we would go into this part. Again, more range of motion. We can move off the side of the, the hybrid. We can go here, full extension. We've got our outside moves. Again, more range of motion because we're elevated. Now we're getting more out of each repetition. And I'm already feeling this. Woo! Yeah! Yowza! We've got planks for the abs and core. We got planks for repetitions. Of course, when we're done with that, we can just flip it out of the way, storage, or we can go into flexibility training, which I'm gonna show you right now. So again, now, by itself, this is our hybrid bench mat. This was the vision 10 years ago in addition to the other proprietary elements that you're seeing on this, this is one of them. It can be used with the unit or by itself, like I'm going to show you. So for flexibility purposes, if you're on the ground with just a flimsy mat that will bend if you grab it, the Sculptor mat allows you to gain stability and stretch for flexibility. So you can see the 10 degree bend in the bar here, the bottom, allows me to put my hand underneath, keeps my body down while I'm stretching the torso and the hips and the glutes. There was nothing else out there that allowed me to do this, nor allowed any of my clients to do this. So I had to, to design it and make it from scratch. Now you see it, here it is, and you're gonna be able to have your own. So the leverage you get here is worth its weight in gold because if we were just on the ground with nothing to grip, we'd be doing this and this would be coming up off the ground and the shoulder would be coming up and it just it's not nearly as effective. But when we can grip now for stability and keeping the upper body in place, now it totally changes the game. We're getting everything we need out of this stretch and I can feel it all through here. All right, from there, you see this is elevated. We have several inches of mat. We've got the bar. We have some space underneath. This allows us to have gripping points now. Whereas a flat mat on the ground, if you try to grip a mat, it's either too thin, if it's like a yoga style mat, or if it's thick, that mat still bends and comes off the ground. Where this, as a hybrid mat, with the rigid bar on the bottom, we can grip it and it stays put. We can use that for leverage in our stretches for flexibility. And we can turn around, we can take advantage of the 10 degree bench with the top pad. One, we get the heel hanging off the front. We get this foot by the knee. This is the proper version of the runner stretch. We have our bench elevated so that we can grip underneath. We can slowly walk our hands forward for leverage. And we're not trying to grip onto our shin or grip onto our laces or our foot. That's not how you do it. You do it with the proper tools made for this. And it totally changes the game. And in case you haven't heard, flexibility and range of motion is just as important as strength, cardiovascular fitness, flexibility and range of motion, mobility, is just as important because that's how you're gonna be able to move through life, you're gonna be able to do all your activities, you're gonna be able to fish, you're gonna be able to garden, you're gonna be able to go hunting, skiing, you name it, whatever you wanna do, your body is required to move. You want to garden. 
Uh, name it. Your body has to move if you want to be able to be active. And so we need that range of motion. We need that mobility. We need that flexibility. We need a reduction in all those aches and pains and the stiffness and the limitations. This is how you get rid of all that in addition to getting strong and getting your health improved from the inside out. This is the all-in-one and this is how we do it. All right, I still got more for you. You ready? Here we go. So we're gonna put our hybrid bench mat into storage. What you're seeing back here are some prototypes of the suspension straps. I rarely use those, but I do use them sometimes. And we had people asking in the last few months, hey, can I, will I be able to put my suspension straps on the Sculpted Fit when I buy one? So I found my old set in the garage, hooked them up a few weeks ago, and I knew they would hold up. I knew the unit would hold up because this thing isn't budging. But to show everybody, I got them up there and I demoed a bunch of exercises a few weeks ago, actually in one of my training sessions. So I'll show that to you now. I love the asymmetrical moves and here's one of them. So, this thing doesn't budge. You can do all the strap training you want, plus more. And we're gonna have dozens of these strap moves in the personal training videos, again, for everybody in the family, no matter what level you or they are at. All right, so that's the demo part of that. Next are the bands. These are called the Atlas Anchors. These anchors are designed to be attached at all 50 points on the unit, from top, anywhere up and down the posts, and also on the bottom. So I'm going to attach these first up here, and then I'll show you some moves from the bottom. So there are dozens and dozens and dozens of moves that could be done with all these bands, not just by themselves, but also in conjunction with the hybrid bench mat, the core lower body platform step. Endless, literally endless. We're still coming up with moves. The coaching team at the studio, they're still coming up with moves just like I am here. And these are all gonna be part of the personal training videos in the personal training center as part of your membership after you buy your unit for your home, your office, or if you're a trainer or fitness pro looking to start a business and train clients on yours, same thing. These will all be in the video library and new videos every month to keep you going and staying on track and advancing and progressing. So I'll show you a few moves. One of my all-time favorites, the high to low turn. We've got all kinds of muscles working here through the core, through the legs, <clears throat> upper body, the arms, we pause, and we come back slowly, controlled, slow turn, pause, back slowly, and coming high to low. <clears throat> Again, I'm gonna just show you a few moves because if I was to show you all of them, we'd be here all night. So this is uh, from over the shoulder, slow push forward and down. This is a focus on the triceps, but my whole body is working here. From my feet all the way through the core, all into the upper body, focus is on the triceps. Very, very natural body weight movement with the bands in combination. So my body is doing work to stabilize, and then the bands are giving me resistance for these triceps to work against first, and then the rest of my body has to stabilize. So it's a body weight and band combo. <clears throat> then we switch sides, of course. Now 
what this allows us to do, this body weight and band combo style of training on the sculpt to fit all in one unit, the slow, steady movements that we do these with, the asymmetrical variants that we do these with, it allows us to get rid of all the heavy weights, all the high impact, all the fast stuff, the yelling and screaming, the high risk, the dangerous, the aggressive stuff. We get rid of all that. We get rid of all that. We make this easy, we make it fun, we make it effective, we make it enjoyable. We get rid of all the pain and the punishment and the torture. We get rid of all that stuff, the stuff that hurts. We don't need to have that. When you do it right, when you take a smart approach, when you take an innovative and progressive approach, like you're seeing here, we get to do this in a shorter amount of time, faster stimulation, better results that we can do for a lifetime. And that's the whole idea. We want to be able to do this for an entire lifetime with no risk of injury and all the results and benefits that the whole family can do in one space. All right, so let's, let me show you something from low to high. So you got these down low. Again, I'm just showing you two anchor points. We've got 50 anchor points from the base, the two posts on the side, and the center posts. We've got holes in the center post coming out with the new pro version that you're going to be able to get. So from low to high, again, same idea. We pause, let the body do the work, let it control, and then control on the way back. So that's a good core move. I'm gonna show you a shoulder press move. Now that we got it anchored from down low, we can do our shoulder press. One side, our body is in the athletic stagger stance because we want the whole body to work. There's no need to sit down and get on a bench and compress your spine with the weights and dumbbells and all this. Right here, we get the most bang for the buck most calories burned, the body working, the brain has to work. The brain and all the neurons, our whole neurological system has to work to keep us on our feet, to keep us balanced, to keep the body stabilized, and we get the strengthening and toning benefits and the function benefits of doing this the right way. Doesn't matter that it's a band. When you do bands right, and you have a good setup and a good system and good bands, I don't have to tell you, the results come. But again, this is not just about what you see on the outside. The whole aim, the whole goal, the whole purpose is total health from the inside out. When we, do, when we treat the body the way it needs to be treated from the inside to have a good health profile, all the vital stats, then the outside is going to reflect that. And it is going to look healthy the way we want it to look different mindset, different approach, better results, sustainable, all based on values. And that is the essence of the sculpt to fit all in one system. <clears throat> and that's it for now. I think that was long enough. Again, I only scratched the surface. That was just a tiny tip of the iceberg of hundreds more exercises and different training programs that could be done here but I at least wanted to give you an idea of the full range that you're going to be able to get out of yours. So that's it. If you have any questions, please post your questions below. Doesn't matter what kind of question it is. While you're watching, what I'm going to do now is put everything back into storage position and I'll give you some time to post your questions below as I put everything back. I'm going to set it up for my workstation again because I do have some work to do tonight. So we'll get the platform up top, footrest at the bottom, 
laptop on my workstation top. The asymmetrical variance patent pending handles, light as a feather, but solid as a rock. Lock them in. And that's it. Now I can go back to work at my standing productivity station and get some work done. So that's it. I appreciate you watching. Remember, the results come when you have the right tools and you take consistent, proper action guided by right and true professionals that you will get with your sculpt to fit all in one. You'll be able to stream your personal training sessions right from any device, so you'll never have to guess what you're supposed to be doing. It's as if you're going to have me and my team of coaches as your personal trainers right at your fingertips. Whether you're at home or on the road, you'll be able to access all kinds of training sessions that are in line with our philosophy based on our methods that you'll be able to do for life. And that's it. I'm done. I'm losing my voice. I appreciate you watching. Post your questions below. And as always, be ready for the next one.